Let's find the probability of a sum of two of our six-sided die. First, I want to decide what numbers I can come up with just so that we're familiar with our dice. With the first one, I can come up with anything one through six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Same is true for that blue dice, one, two, three, four, five, or six. I also need the number in my sample space. This is the total possible outcomes. So the number in my sample space, I've got six for the first dice, six possibilities for the second dice, six times six is 36. Now let's get into our sums. To come up with our sums, I wanna put a number on the red dice together with a number on the blue dice to come up with some pairs. So if I wanna to add to four, I'm gonna pair a one with a three. I could also pair a two with a two, so a two with a two. And then that one and three can also be swapped and a three and a one. So I can also do a three and a one. So that leaves me with one, two, three different possibilities. I'm gonna put this together with my favorable outcomes. I'm just gonna abbreviate favorable over total. I've got one, two, three favorable outcomes. So that's gonna be three out of my 36, which I can reduce to one twelfth. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing with the sum of seven. I wanna very systematically go through each of the numbers that I've got for my red dice and figure out how I can put them together with a blue dice to add up to seven. So that would be a one and a six. I could also do, just going through the numbers here, a two would be matched with a five. A three would be matched with a four. I can do a four on the red dice, and that would be matched with a three on the blue dice. Continuing to count up here on the red dice, a five would be matched with a two on the blue dice. And then finally, I've got just one more way to do this, and that would be a six on the red dice with a one on the blue dice. Now I can make sure that I've got everything paired correctly by making sure I've got those opposites, right? A one and a six can also be paired with the opposite dice as a six and a one. They're all there, so that leaves me with one, two, three, four, five, six possible outcomes. So that would be my favorable. So I've got six favorable outcomes out of my 36. I can reduce that and it becomes one sixth. Now, if you haven't seen it yet, do take a look at this next video. It's on how to find the probability of getting doubles when you roll two dice. You're doing so great. Thank you so much for watching.